Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to redirect a page or a URL in WordPress. You will learn how to set up automatic redirects, manual redirects, and wildcard redirects in WordPress. So, there are a number of times when you might need to redirect a page, a post, or URL in your WordPress blog. That's when this WordPress redirect page comes in useful. Maybe you have changed the slug of a post or page. Maybe you have updated your permalink settings or you have written a new post and you want to redirect that post to the old post. In this, all these cases, you want to redirect your page to some specific URL. So for this purpose, we will use one plugin called redirection that is very useful and one of the best plugin for redirection. As you can see, it has more than 2 million active installations and it is having very much popular within the community. So we can use this plugin for our redirection purpose. Okay. So we will have three options that is automated redirect, manual redirects and wildcard redirect. So we will see all three these options. So first one, let me activate the plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you can see the redirection setup. So here you can see the source URL and target URL. So in source URL, you have to pass the page or post URL that you want to redirect and the target will be your target URL. Okay. So there are two options, the start setup and manual setup. So once you click on manual setup, it will show some queries, SQL queries that you can run. It will insert some data, some field, some tables into your database. Okay. So I'm not doing this manually. Let me click start setup. Let me monitor these permalink changes in WordPress posts and pages. I want to keep log of uh, redirects and 404 address as well. Continue. If you want to import any existing redirects from your current website, then you can import and it will test using REST API. So it is good. Okay. Let me click on finish setup. So it will take two or three seconds to get it done. So now you can click on continue and ready to begin. So once you are done with setup, you can see the redirections page with so many options. So let's see what is groups. Groups is something you need to redirect in a group like in redirections group, you have used the module from your WordPress. You can also use Apache and Nginx, but we will use WordPress as a module for redirection. So for modified post, you can create another group and so and so. So basically you can group your redirects and that's why this grouping is there nothing that is also you can also use a particular module for a particular group if you want to redirect your website the complete website then you can relocate a domain so you can pass some other domain you can enter other domain and your entire website will be redirect to that domain okay also you can force a redirect from http to https if you have if you have ssl certification installed on your server also you want to remove or add www from your domain you can also do that okay so this is site site level settings if you want to keep the logs it will show the list of logs here if you have 404 on your website then it will show a list of 404 pages if you want to import your redirection settings from not settings redirection rules from your other websites then you can export csv htaccess and json file from that website and import here okay so import export option is also there in options you can keep logs for v404 or a week or month or you want to keep it forever if you want to log the ip or there are a few options that you can change okay 
so url monitor changes and so and so okay so i'm not going into detail for these settings but let's start redirection so let's see first of all manual redirection so what is manual redirection so let me go to this form here you can pass the redirection rule in source url let me go to our post in here you can see we have hello world and url of this page is this okay so in redirection url let me pass wp hello world okay. so let's see other options the other option is query parameters and it will ask to exit match in any order or it may ignore all parameters or you can ignore and pass parameters to the target but most of the cases you will use exact match in any order okay so title you can keep it option as optional match so here you have multiple options that you want to match URL only or you want to match URL with login status or role and capability but that those options are um, very advanced options so to make it easy let's match URL only and when you want to match you want to match when uh, url redirect to another url with http code 301 if you want to move it permanently if you want to make it found 302 and permanent redirect will be th uh, 308 so let me keep it 301 and this is target url so i am keeping target url as a stackoverflow.com okay the group will be redirect so let me add a redirect so now you can see I have added this redirection okay so now let me open one home and just this URL let me close it from here and open so now it should redirect to stakeoverflow.com yeah so now you can see it is permanently redirected right and let me reload it will show hits as one so it shows that someone has tried to access this page and we have redirected it to your given url okay so if you disable it it will not work and you can also add it with your settings okay so this is how manual redirection works so other point is automated redirects so how automatic redirects works so let's say in this blog in this hello world let me quickly change the slug to something else say slug hello world and title is also hello world new let's see and now update so now if you go and open your url it will redirect to stake overflow because we already have our uh, redirection set up here okay but as you change the slug right now the new slug will be hello world new okay and this url will not redirect because the slug is now the new one okay so to make it automated let me just reload so you can see now we have another url let's say wp hello world is now redirect to hello world new so because hello world doesn't exist right so let me just quickly disable it because we are not using for now so let's say hello world doesn't exist and now we have to redirect all hello world url to hello world new okay so let me open hello world and it should redirect to so now this will redirect to stack overflow because that is permanently moved but let me open hello world and it will redirect to hello world new so this is what automated redirect says okay so when you change the slug of your post or page it will automatically create your redirection settings it will create new redirection rule that old you slug will redirect to new slug so you don't have to create that uh, independently i mean you don't have to create manually for each and every post so this is one of the best 
uh, uses of this plugin so you don't have to uh, write down your redirection rules every time you update the slug okay and the last one is wildcard redirects so uh, to use a wildcard redirect when you want to redirect a set of urls which share certain elements so for example if you change your permanent structure okay so let's see what is permanent structure so let's say if you update your parallel structure to post name to custom structure or anything else a wildcard redirect will send anyone using a link from your old structure to the same link using your new structure okay so let's say if you have changed your parallel structure for post from uh, something called slash post name to category post name so let's say you have uh, a structure for blogs let's say you have a structure like blogs slash your post name let's, let's say hello world so let's see we have blogs okay so now let me in and when you go to post now you should have so now you can see you have url blogs your url okay so now we have updated our permanent structure but after some time you think you want to change from logs to category and you have so many uh, blogs created already right so once you change your category uh, slug in custom structure from log to category and save the changes then you already have these blocks to in, in blogs but it will not work because now we have updated our structure of the links so in this in this case what we can do we can uh, pass this wildcard redirects so how this works so in wildcard redirect the source url should be like uh, category whatever category we have given here the name category and in category after category you have to pass something like dot star let's see what exactly this wildcard says uh, it is not there okay so let's see how it works so now dot slash and no uh, dot star and this uh, dollar sign so source url says whenever you find in url with category and whatever is there after category then you have to select regex here to make sure that you are using regex and target url will be slash new slug new slug will be whatever you want to give let's say new blog okay let's say you are giving new blog and dollar one okay let's add the redirection okay now let's see what happens when we try to use new url so now it is not working let me quickly close it okay so now we have this current url but we are not using blocks as we are using category and category should be there so let me see what went wrong okay now we have category post name and in the post name you try to access category hello world new then it shows yeah you can see now so whenever you try to access slash category slash hello world it will redirect to new blog so right now it, it doesn't exist because there is a uh, no new blog but what we have to do here let me add it here let me add blog and here we can give category okay. so now let me see what is okay. so now when you change this you have okay new block is there because
category yeah in redirection rule we have get blog and category right so let's go to post and here it will redirect to new blog but as we don't have anything called new blog then we can pass new blog as a category and let's see now you can see we have the post with particular url so the i i think i uh, messed up here messed up here but yeah so basically what i'm trying to explain here whenever you have to update a paramlink structure then you can use wildcard redirection to make sure that you are updating or you are redirecting all your old urls to new url so how this redirection works so i hope you like this video if you have any question or any suggestions you can leave your comments below